So as Justice gets back to kick off, sit back to return for the Lions. Number 10, Kyle Tag. Return is brought out to about the 26 yard line. So hopefully during halftime, Coach Ospaw had something to say to this Lions team to try and get them fired up to come out here and play. I know it's probably very hard for them to come out here with any type of intensity and really try and give it their all in the second half, already down by 41. But both teams could use this second half as a chance to get younger players some action and really try some different things out. Brought down hard in the backfield. Dylan Thomas with the tackle. So second down, 12 yards to go for the first. Passes complete for about six yards. And I bring up third and short, about four yards to move the chains. Third and three. Halo gets just enough to move the first down markers. Ball now on the 39-yard line. Lions coming out in the I formation. This is the second time tonight they've ran it. Pass is complete in the backfield. Ball is going to be spotted right around the 46 yard line. Now second and four. Just over 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Breaks a tackle and picks up the first down. It's all down by what seems like a ton. Rushfield's moving the ball up the field. Ball right around the midfield line. Tressler now under center. So good for another first down. Yes, now first down ball in the 39. 9.26 left in the third quarter. So running the hook and ladder, they pick up the first down. I like what I'm seeing from this Lions offense right now. I know they're down by 41, but I tell you what, Zane, it's never too late to come back in this game, at least make some type of a game of it. I couldn't agree with you more, Adam. They've come out into this game in the second half, and they've showed a lot of energy they didn't have in the first half. And if they can continue to move the ball down the field, they may be able to score a few touchdowns and put some points up on this board. Rolls out right. 
pass is almost picked off. Andy Spears with the deflection, a 6'2", 2'10", senior. Now second and 10, ball in the 25. Run up the middle, gain of 11, another first down for the Lions. So inside the red zone for the first time today. First down and 10. Again, almost picked off by the Marauders. That time it was Alec Lahman. The six foot 170 junior. Sweep left on the handoff. Almost in the end zone, brought down on the two yard line. And I'm telling you what, Zane, during halftime, I don't know what they were told, but they're coming out with a lot of intensity and energy on offense. And hopefully they can put some points on the board and make a game of this. Are you sure those are the same jersey numbers? Because this looks like a completely different team that's out here in the second half. I tell you what, Mount Vernon did not give up any yards during the first half. I tell you what, Rushville's moving the ball up and down the field. Now second down coming up, one yard outside the end zone. We have a player down on the field. That's number 10, Kyle Tag, the 6'1", 195 senior. We'll take the opportunity here while they have the injury timeout to tell you about one of our sponsors who's been able to help bring this game live to you in your homes live from Indianapolis. That is right and repair. The sign says right way collision repair, but you may not realize they also have mechanical technicians. They can work on shocks and struts, mufflers, brakes, everything from oil changes to diesel performance and engine overhaul and replacement. So when you think of right way, think of more than just the fender benders. Think of full service automotive care. Visit Wade and Christie at Rightway Collision Repair in Albany for your collision and mechanical needs. And while you're there, drop in and say hi to Blue, the shop dog. Call 765-789-6995 or visit rightwayauto.com. So after the injury timeout, got a touchdown by the Rushville Lions. First time they're putting points on the board today. Make it 41-6. to So coming out of the half, Coach Rocky Oswald is showing what he tried to do during the first half with this team. That's putting some points up on the board now, 41 to six. I believe they're gonna go for the two point conversion. He's down by this many, they need as many points as they can get. Coming out in the I formation. A lot of contact where the ball was in the air. It's going to bring out the flags, pass interference on the defense. So they'll get half the distance to the goal. So again, Clay Tressler in this offense is going to try and get the two-point conversion, make it 41-8. to eight. 8-10 left in the third. Good. 
And Garrett Hiddle gets to the outside, scores the two-point conversion. So now 41-8 here on Web Sports Machine, live at Lucas Oil Stadium. Mount Vernon out on top, 41-8. We will be right back with the kickoff. So after the two-point conversion was made, had an unsportsmanlike conduct call on Rushville. Penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. And welcome back to Web Sports Machine. Due to the unsportsmanlike conduct call, Rushville is going to be kicking off in the 25-yard line. If you just missed it, Rushville scored their first touchdown of the day, making it 41-8. to They got the two-point conversion. It's now down by 33 with 8-10 left in the third. Another short kickoff. That's going to give Mount Vernon great field position. Ball are going to be on the 38-yard line. So first down and 10, ball only on the 38-yard line. 8.03 left in the third quarter. Ball handed off up the middle for about seven yards. So second down and two yards to go. Just enough to move the first down marker. Ball now spotted on the 24 yard line. Getting around to the outside, and he's going to run this one all the way in to the end zone. To the 24-yard touchdown run by Tyler Dix, giving him his fourth rushing touchdown of the day. It's now 47-8. to eight. 